Hi everyone, my name is Tabika and I'm your Techie Tantrika. I hope that all of you had an amazing Valentine's Day. Um, I just want to start off by saying that uh, whether you're in a relationship or you're single, I just hope that you really milk this wonderful time of the year for everything that it can give you. Um, I do believe that obviously we should take care of ourselves all year round. This is just a really great time to reconnect with yourself and remember how grateful you are for you. And if you're with somebody, it's a grateful time to also, it's a wonderful time, I mean, to be grateful for the other person in your life as well. And if you're not in a relationship, it's a good time to be grateful for just in general the people around you and to have fun with each other and, uh, you know, go do epic things. Like there were so many great movies, for example, that came out this weekend. There was just so much to do that it's just, you know, um, I know here in Toronto, for example, there was the All-Star Games as well that kept people really busy too. So, I mean, there's just a lot of really great buzz happening in the city here. And I just hope there was a lot of great buzz for you. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to kind of remind everybody to, you know, take Valentine's Day by the reins and just, you know, enjoy it and, uh, you know, make sure that you bring yourself uh, pleasures of life and remind yourself of just how awesome your life is and how awesome you are so yes uh, make sure you just make sure that you appreciate yourself all year round if possible and especially on valentine's day <laughs> it's uh it's something to definitely think about especially if uh if you might have not thought about uh this kind of concept in the past uh i know i've uh, talked obviously with a lot of clients and a lot of people who you know, might not really think about Valentine's Day that way right away, but um, it's definitely also uh, something that we don't really talk about that often. Um, I know some people have actually talked about using Valentine's Day as a single awareness day, so I mean, if you want to lump those concepts together, I would say that's great, as long as it's all done and good in love and happiness, so um, yeah, just take whatever time you can to just enjoy yourself. So um, with that being said, I definitely wanted to talk about part of my Valentine's Day haul. Uh, I'm super excited about this video because this is a really great time that I get to talk about something that borders into wearable tech and wearable art together. It's just this beautiful merging and I just can't wait to talk about this piece. Um, so I will show you this box first uh, about said piece. So I don't know if you could see this. Oh, that that's really lovely. So this company uh, is called Crave and uh, what I'm about to show you that's in this box is called the Vesper. Now, what makes the Vesper so lovely um, is its beautiful simplicity and its amazing functions. Now the Vesper is actually a vibrator. It's a wonderful pleasure toy, but what the beautiful thing about the Vesper is, um, here let me show you the box here, I just took the lid off. This is a quick start guide you get with it. You get this lovely um, beautiful velvet pouch that comes with this uh, beautiful vibrator. And I believe it's actually something that could be used to polish it. Um, they never actually said that, but given the fabric and the fact that this is stainless steel, I'm suspecting it might actually be great. But if anything, it's just a beautiful traveling uh, pouch. So now this is what it looks like when you get it. Once again, presentation's lovely. And when you look inside, what's great about it is you get this lovely USB recharger because it's actually rechargeable. I love that. Because you know, ain't nobody got time for batteries. And seriously, it's eco-friendly, which is just, you know, just absolutely amazing. Now, the Vesper, if you've never seen it before, is also a necklace. <laughs> so, yes, I am absolutely in love with this beautiful piece. Now, I have uh, the rose gold and steel combination here. They also come in uh, just stainless steel and a 24 karat gold plated one. 
Uh, Good for her in Toronto actually only has this one, um, but it's great because I think they're actually the only sex toy shop that I've been able to find that actually carries it, so it was just nice to be able to get access to it. Um, Now, like I said, this is stainless steel, which also makes it super body friendly, but you could also tell the designer, T. Chang, totally got it. Like, she, she actually won a Red Dot award for this beautiful design piece. Um, as I said, I can't stress enough, like, this has this beautiful aesthetic, it hangs to about the solar plexus when you wear it, um, but what's nice is it has four speeds on it, so I'm gonna try to put it to this mic here, I mean, it's actually pretty quiet, but it's very, and very discreet, which is great, um, but you'll see there's a really great variety here, um, if the sound picks up, so... That was the slow, then the medium, this is the high, and then there's a pulsating setting. So there's four settings here for you to choose from. You just click this little button on the back again, which is also super discreet, and it comes off. And the charge time, or the run time, I would say, is like 40 to an hour and a half. That's what the manual said, if I recall, or the website. And I would agree, that's definitely something um, that it holds true to. Uh, once again, I just love the fact that it's rechargeable and it's so simple, but, like simplistic in the design, but so effective and so beautiful, especially when you're wearing it. It just looks like a very beautiful high-end piece when you're wearing it. So, um, now I haven't done any pleasure videos yet, like physical pleasure videos yet, and I will be doing them in the future for women and men. Uh, one thing I would like to say is what I like about this too is its settings aren't terribly strong even then I would still probably use the first and second setting only because it's really important not to um, overstimulate the clitoris like you don't want it to become desensitized because it's part of your overall pleasure system as a woman and um, it's definitely not the most powerful orgasm you can get, like, a clitoral orgasm is great, but, like, it can also be used as a gateway into other orgasms, um, which, once again, I will talk about in another video. If you do feel like you are desensitized, it is ideal to, like, try to go back to fingers for a little bit. Um, something like this, I even wouldn't necessarily, um, I would probably play around the labia around with, and it's fun to obviously use by yourself and with a partner. Um, what's really great too is it detaches from the necklace and you can use it like that as well, so, um, that part's also lovely, you can just screw it back on. Um, actually, the charging bit's actually on the inside there, that's how you charge it. <laughs> so, I, which I absolutely... I'm absolutely in awe of, like, I really only like rechargeable um, toys or toys that have no battery power regardless because um, I just really care about the environment, but I was holding out for a while and then this came into my life, so, <laughs> like I said, I'm super excited about, so I just, um, I will be absolutely enamored with this for a very long time uh, just because I can recognize why um, it would win a design award, and I could honestly recognize the amazing functionality of it. There are a couple of drawbacks was with everything, of course. Like, you know, there's always going to be some things that aren't so great and some things that are amazing. Um, and obviously the amazing aspects of this outweigh the couple little things that, you know, aren't obviously the best. Like, for example, you definitely want to stick to just clitoral play with this. You don't want to stick it in uh, any orifice. You don't want to use it for anal or use it for vaginal insertion. It's water resistant, but it's not waterproof. So um, definitely you want to, like, it'll say all this in the quick start guide anyways, but definitely you don't want to do that. Um, you don't want to let the battery go dead, because apparently that might damage it. Once again, this is on the quick start aspect, and I think it's on one of these tags, too. Um, but either way, I mean, for what it is, it's just it's just phenomenal. <laughs> so, you know, eco-friendly, body safe, beautiful, um, very compact, portable, um, just so elegant. I highly recommend the Vesper. Um, Think this is a good time for me to also say I have not been paid to endorse this at all. I just got it for Valentine's Day and absolutely am in love with it. So if you have any experiences with the Vesper, feel free to comment. If you have any questions, feel free to comment about this. Um, feel free to like this video. It's definitely my first product review of something I've absolutely just 
enjoyed and you know has enhanced my life in some magical way so um feel free to do that and feel free to subscribe so i can continue giving you tips and tricks and um you know answer questions that all of you might have uh so once again thank you for watching this and um and I hope once again that all of you had a great Valentine's Day and here's to many more awesome ones. So thank you so much and take care. Bye guys.